Good day and welcome to the channel. In this short video, we're going to demonstrate and explain how to use the Casa Smart KP125M2 uh, from TP Link. Now, TP Link is the manufacturer, Casa Smart's just a branding of their product. And you might ask, if you look at the website, what the differences are between all of these different plugs. Well, we did a review recently on uh, the smart plug called the HS103P4, which we'll put a link to in the top right hand corner here. And that's just a normal smart plug. Now what makes that great is it's crazy cheap. This was about, uh, I don't know, $8 Canadian. So for easy math, five, six bucks US uh, per unit. And that is really good. This one, however, really takes it to a new level. This is again the KP125M. And what's special about this? Capable of monitoring the power usage. That is useful if you're trying to figure out where the heck the power is going in your house or anywhere else for that matter. And that's what I want to do. And beyond that, if you look at the TP-Link CASA website, you'll see that there are actually four products that uh, all look pretty much the same. They're all CASA Smart Wi-Fi Slim plugs. And you think, what the heck is the difference? This one we sourced on Amazon and it's most likely the one that'll work with your system because it's designed to work with every system which is why Amazon has it. This is Matter certified and you might think what the heck is Matter? What does that mean? Matter is a consortium of 300 companies. Everybody from Apple to Google to Microsoft to, to Samsung. It includes everybody and what they're trying to do is get this stuff to be ubiquitous in your house and it, to make it ubiquitous it's going to have to work together. So when you see something that's matter certified, that means it'll work with pretty much everything. And there are also some special features. It means that you don't have to use one application over another application. In other words, if you've already got something that controls your smart house, this will work with it because it's designed to work with everything, generally speaking. The other big advantage is uh, there are some technical specifications to be matter certified that make things easier. So I believe there's supposed to be a QR code on the site. So you take your phone and just use the camera to go to a link to set it up. That's pretty useful. Another thing is whether your system will still function when your internet drops. So if you think about it, when your internet drops at your house, is your home network still up? Yeah, it just isn't connecting to anything except itself. Okay. Well, with a lot of the older type systems, the older plugs and things like that, when the internet dropped, you couldn't control these things. Matter certified devices will work when your internet drops. As long as your home network is still up, so basically as long as it's got power, this is gonna work. Okay, so that's the KP125M explained. What are all these other products then? Well, there's a non-M version of this, which means it's non-matter certified. I don't know who would want that, but it still works with uh, all of the systems that I'm aware of, you know, the Samsung Smart Things, Google Home, Amazon Alexa, and there's a EP25 that's certified to work with Apple HomeKit. Now, after mentioning all those company names, this gets to a good point. We sourced this from Amazon, but we could have sourced it from Best Buy. We could have got it from, uh, well, directly from the manufacturer. They sell direct uh, or a hundred other places. I think I even saw these at Home Depot. The point here is nobody's paid us anything for this. This is completely unsponsored. so. Uh, we'd really appreciate it if you'd give us the big thumbs up. It very much helps with the algorithms. So in the off chance you see something interesting here, we'll show you what's on the box. There's always somebody that asks to see the back of the box because they think there's some specification or something that they want to know. So anyway, there's the box. I don't think there's anything interesting in, in it. So as you can see, this was a two pack. This two pack came in at about, I think it was $24 Canadian. So let's call it $17 US, something like that quick setup card which you're not going to need because we're going to show you how to use this. So you can see that these have the matter QR codes on them and look they're different. Anyway let's just look at this. Nothing interesting here other than this is a North American plug if you were somewhere else you would have a different plug. Uh, there's also a power switch here so you can manually turn things on and off. Let's get to plugging this in and see how it works. So this is called a uh, slim or a sometimes called a mini because you can put two of them in. You can see the little light turning on and off here. Because this is matter certified, I don't actually have to 
use uh, their, their proprietary app, but I'm going to because I've already got it. Well, let's show you how to get it. You have to go to your store. In my case, it's the Play Store. In your case, if you're running an Apple, it would be the Apple Store. And you just look for Casa Smart. There it is, it's Casa Smart right there. I already have it installed. So I'm gonna open it. And if you don't already have an account, it's going to ask you to set one up. Now I'm just gonna go back to home here. And there are two I already have set up that we already did a review on. Let's go to the plus in the top right hand corner and select device and select matter smart plug. It's already flashing. Select enable for Bluetooth. Get this running. Okay, now here's a bit of a catch. Uh, you need to be working on a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network. If you don't know what that means, don't worry about it. Uh, most networks today are five gigahertz networks. But almost all of these smart devices need to work on the old 2.4 gigahertz. Make sure you're on a 2.4 gigahertz and enter password. And what do we want to call this? I want to call a smart plug three. Next, this is going in my garage. Select next. What icon do I want to use? Well, it doesn't make any difference. I'll just use that one for now. Click next, almost done. And let's check for a firmware update. Now let's go through the app very quickly before we show you how to set this up with Google Home. Uh, I can press the power button, turn it on and off. I can also just click on it, not the actual power button, but the, the device name itself. And I can do things like set a schedule, uh, which I'm probably going to do. Uh, I can also set a timer. I only want it to run for 10 minutes or something. I can set away mode. I can look at the usage. This is going to be useful. Now. Let's uh, click the cog in the top right hand corner. And this is where I can do things like change the icon and where I've told it I want it placed. So this would be exactly what you, you would expect. It's very, very simple. Okay, now let's get on to adding this to our Google Home. And how do you do that? Well, I'm just going to swipe down and I'm going to go to my Google Home app. I simply click devices, add, works with Google Home, TP-Link Casa, and if you haven't already given it approval, and I have, it will ask you for approval. It'll show us the, the setup again. There we go, so I will just agree. Smart plug three, there it is. Add it to a room if I want. And I'm going to set it to be in the garage as far as Google goes. And that would allow me to do things like say, okay, Google, turn off everything in the garage. Let's test this out on one of my electric vehicles. So I have a 220 volt uh, connector that you can see there. And uh, it's working just fine, but I also have the portable charger that it comes with. And I'm going to use this uh, TP-Link Casa Smart TP-125 unit and see if I can monitor the amount of power this thing uses. So here we are an hour later, and let's see how much juice my electric car has sucked up. So I'll go to the smart plug and I'll click on usage in the bottom right here. And I can see it's used one point, I'm gonna round that to 1.4 kilowatts in the last hour or so. And the billing is interesting. If you click on this, so I pay 6.5 cents per kilowatt for my electricity just outside of Calgary, Alberta. And you can see so far this 1.4 kilowatts, yeah, that's cost me about a dime. So what do we think of the Casa Smart Plug with energy monitoring for 15 amp, 1800 watt circuit? Well, we like it. We like the simplicity of the KP125 and we will be using this all over the house to figure out where our electricity is actually going. And because this feels like a good product and we've had good experience with TP-Link in the past and because this is UL certified, we think we can recommend this to others like you. Hey, that's pretty neat, huh? And if you found this video useful, please give us the big thumbs up. We'd really appreciate it. It very much helps with the Google algorithms. Subscribes also always appreciated. And if you want to get a hold of us directly, you can at www.urtech.ca. That's www.urtech.ca. Or you can leave a question or a comment below. And if we don't get back to you, somebody else will. Because on YouTube, everybody has an opinion. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.